This is gonna be a little bit different video than what I usually do, but uh, you know, this is the one where we're pulling in the wheel studs. Uh, I say we because my, my parents were here visiting me from Pennsylvania, and for those of you that don't know, I live in North Dakota right now. Um, but uh, they were here visiting me. They came 1,560 miles, and uh, you know, one of our goals before they left was to get the wheel studs put in back here uh, so that I could drive my car. Turns out, uh, the front wheel studs and the back wheel studs are different. We got them in, but you know, I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Um, actually the differences in them, I got a pack of the fronts and I got a, the card that came in the, in the pack in the back. Um, but the neural size is different. They're the same length, same thread, everything else, but the neural length's different for, for the hubs in the back. But, uh, you know, I ended up having an ambulance call, you know, cause I mean, you see there, but I ended up having an ambulance call the day that we were pulling these in. Uh, and because of that, my parents, you know, they're, they're great. My mom video, my dad pulled, uh, pulled them in and you know, that's what this video is. So, uh, you know, let's get to it. All right, YouTube, we're going to be changing these studs on the driver's side and putting new, new rims and tires on the other side. And you do this when you're, when your son has to go on an emergency call and you bring in your second string. So this is a before shot. This is what we're taking off. These are what they call the old, the old school craggers. Hang on, let me get one. So it's the old school craggers with the elliptical holes. Uh, he's been having a lot of trouble breaking studs. So we're gonna we're gonna replace those with the steel rims and tires like we did on the other side. So stay tuned. getting ready the main reason we're changing these is because these studs these studs were were breaking off these studs are supposed to be short from the factory but with those style with that style uh, Krager that's on there they kept breaking off every time the car would move um, as you see all the other the other four studs are in and uh, we're gonna be attempting to pull this last one in hopefully it goes all right All right, so it lined up. So now we just gotta take our, the impact and there's a, there's a spacer plate here on the back that once it's tight, that studs the whole way in. And uh, also what I'm gonna do so I don't ruin this, this lug nut. Now that I got it tight and I can take the, I can take the, the nut off. I'm gonna use a washer. One of the old washers out of the old, uh, those old Craigers, because we're not going to reuse those for a spacer. And then we're just going to give her the ugly duggies and pull it in. All right, now that's as far in as I can get it with this socket. We have to go in a little bit more with it yet.
wheel studs. These are the front. These ones I got from, well, I got them both from Jags, but they're uh, the Preston wheel studs, some 16 by 20 thread, uh, two and seven eighths long by 570 knurl. So the front, the, these ones here are a 570 knurl. I put them in about, I don't know, year and a year and a half ago, I guess. I've had the car since August of 2021, so two years almost. And I, that was one of the first things I did. And then I put those, I put these same ones here in the back and the knurls are actually too big to fit. So I went ahead and got these. These are the ones that we put in this time. These are the race proven Moroso wheel studs. Uh, manufactured from high grade SAE 8740 steel wheel, uh, steel to withstand shear loads of up to 190,000 PSI. Exceeds grade 8 specifications. Um, they have the quick start dog end, which the fronts have too. These are a uh, 7 16 by 20 by 2 and 7 8 with a 560 knurl. So what the 560 knurl means, is, let me walk back here with you. So those are those, are those ones. Um, but what they are is the knurl that goes in the hub. I'm sure you saw that when dad was pulling them in. Uh, that is a different diameter than the front. The actual stud itself is the same, but, and these are just a three quarter by a three quarter OD and it's a 17 or it's, yeah, seven sixteenths by 20, uh, thread. That's all those are. And I just got steel wheels on there for now. And, uh, there it is. And for those of you that don't know, I call this car crispy because it was in a fire here uh, in the 70s and that's why it was parked. So I think that concludes this video then. And, uh, you know, we got the wheel studs in, we got, uh, you know, good tires on it and stuff. We can do some damage now driving around. So uh, I think next video is going to be uh, sway bar end links because I still have those to do. Um, and then before this thing goes on a, on a long journey, I do need to put a, a fuel pump and a water pump in it because it's, it got, I mean, it's, it's at temperature, but it went a little, a little bit above temperature and stayed there it's more than I want. But, um, and I think it's got a 200 or 210 thermostat in it. I think that's what this called for, or no, no, it's got a 185 thermostat in it that's what this called for so i might go get a 165 to put in it just to just to be on the safe side with the new water pump um when i put that in i don't have that yet but i will get that and then when i get the new fuel pump i'm debating whether i want to stay mechanical or whether i want to go electric with it but uh we'll see either way but either way you guys will see it so uh you know like normal thank a first responder for me and god bless guys